Good evening, YouTube Booktube. This is Johnny. Uh, I'm sitting in my main study. And I've been reading since last night this Temptation by Jonas Skinskiskly. I can't pronounce the name. Translate it. Uh, I forgot what language this was in. Hungarian by Mark Bazzoni. So I've been reading that. Today is uh, April the 19th, 2020. It is going on 5.30 in the evening. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting in my study. And I was looking at this uh, tag that's been on BookTube. It's called the Nonfiction Book Tag. And I keep looking at the questions or the, the prompts. <laughs> And uh, the, and I don't know if I can do this in one video. So what I thought I would do, I would just come to my main study and just look at question or prompt one on the nonfiction book tag. What subject or area of nonfiction did you begin with? So I've been thinking about that question because I don't think I read nonfiction when I was. I know I. St I've always been. I've always been a reader of books. Since I can remember, not saying I read, as a child or my early teenage years, every single day or week. But I know I always had a fascination for books. I think the first thing I remember reading as a child. Now, as you all know, I grew up, I didn't have, I never knew my father. My mother was divorced a couple of times and she was killed in, in an auto wreck when I was 16, an ambulance. She didn't stop for an ambulance and the ambulance smashed into her and killed her instantly. She was coming home from work about one o'clock in the morning in December of 1968 and we were living in Los Angeles and so I was I'm trying to remember did I read anything when I was 16 years old uh, back when I was 16 I was into girls I was into TV I was into records and that my mother bought but I don't think I read anything I don't think I really start reading until I was like 17 or 18 years old. By that time, I was living in the San Francisco Bay Area. I was living with my, uh, first I lived with my aunt, who was a widow and alcoholic. And then a long story, I lived with a foster family, uh, a German, Jewish, bohemian kind of woman with her son. She was divorced, and and she had books in her house, and I would look at them, but I don't remember reading them. Now, one thing I remember back in those days, 16 years old, 17 years old, 18 years old, my mind was always spe speeding. I was always, um, my mind was always going all over the place and I was into smoking marijuana and taking LSD and and I was into listening to you know, Pacific Radio, you know, Alan Watts and I was involved in the anti-war movement and Conscious Objector and and I was always really off into my own world. I didn't really have friends. I always had girlfriends but I never had any male friends. I always either had was with my girlfriend or I was off of my own world smoking dope or going off in the woods dropping LSD and writing in my diary my paper diary and um, just off of my own head in my own imaginary world were my own thoughts. But when I was in the 12th grade I was into Young Life and Baha'i World Faith and I suppose back, and then I always did read books, but I can't, 
remember what I read. I would go to the Richmond Public Library and I would check books out there in Richmond, California. And, but I don't remember anything I read. But I do remember, you know, I was looking at religious texts of Buddhism and Hinduism and uh, Catholic mysticism and into looking at a new age stuff. And, uh, but I never really believed in any of that. But I did have experiences where I knew that there, there had to be a God. And I remember after I graduated from high school that I uh, was hiking in the Richmond Hills and I asked God if he existed to show me who he was. And a couple of weeks later, I ran into a bunch of Jesus people in Berkeley and they invited me to a Bible study. So that was the beginning, and I started reading the Bible. And I, I did go to college, a junior college, Counter Costa Junior College, and but I was really a baby Christian. I would I got into, involved in Richmond House, the Christian commune there in Richmond, California, and and Jesus people in Berkeley, and but I mainly just read the Bible. <laughs> Because back then, I think uh, I looked at that you're a Jesus people, Jesus people, a Jesus freak. You just read the Bible and studied the Bible and prayed the Bible and sang the Bible. So that's what I think I did. And so the Bible is considered nonfiction. It's not considered fiction. And so... So... I, did, I read some religious books, but I didn't really, re you know, I had St. John of the Cross, the Spiritual Canticle, and I I had the Ascent of Mount Carmel, but I don't know if I really read them. I know I kept them on my, back in those days, I, I was kind of homeless, but I had this, like, old tin trunk that I stored underneath my foster mother's house. And I would store things in there over the years, like books and my diaries. And and I didn't really have a home for many years. I just kind of, well, I, you remember, I did live at the rescue mission when I was on staff there, the Richmond Rescue Mission, which I think I looked at my timeline. It says here, uh... I joined the rescue mission in 1973. Uh, I graduated from high school in 1970. I attended Conte Costa Junior College in San Pablo, California in 1971. And in 1972, I attended Mackinac Island Liberal Arts College here in Mackinac Island, Michigan. And then I went back and I lived on different Christian communes in 1973 in Northern California, and then I joined the Richmond Rescue Mission in 1973, and I was 21 years old. And even when I was working, and then I was around that time that I picked up a commentary on the Epistle of Hebrews by A.W. Pink, who was a, uh, a, he was a spiritual writer, and if you read his writings, he was always quoting the 17th century English Puritans. So that was how I first got into nonfiction, was around 1974, 75. But I just read 17th century English Puritan theology and spirituality. And I found these books at the at Pacific School of Religion in Berkeley, California. And then I also started going to San Francisco Golden Gold. San Francisco Golden Gate Seminary, and I had a, they let me check books out. I would go there on weekends with my girlfriend before we went to the beach, Stinson Beach, and we would stop at the Golden Gate Seminary and i check books out. And I also would, I think I got books out of Pacific School of Religion, and I read basically just Puritan literature, 18th century Scottish theological Puritan literature, 
And that's how I got into nonfiction. Now, I don't know if I really read any secular fiction back in those days. I don't think I started reading. Really, I didn't really get back into reading nonfiction until around 2007. Now, over the years before 2007, from the early late 1970s up until 2006, once in a while I would read. Well, I always read in Bible college and seminary a lot of nonfiction, uh, theology, church history. You know, sociology, history of Mexico, things like that. So that's how I got into nonfiction. Basically, was through be becoming a Christian and reading the Bible. So that is the first answer to the question: What subject or area of nonfiction did you begin with? And I would say it was Christianity, <laughs> the Bible. And I wrote here, I became a Christian when I was 18 years old and have studied and read the Bible going on for 50 years. Uh, the Bible got me on the path of reading nonfiction books like Christian Spirituality, Reformed Theology, New Testament Theology, Old Testament Theology, Biblical Studies, Hermeneutics, Christian Counseling, and things like that. Was there a specific event or person or book? Well, the event was that event after I graduated from high school in the Richmond Hills when I was around 18 years old, and I was I asked God. I looked up into the sky and asked God to reveal Himself to me. And, and a couple of weeks later, I went. I met those Jesus people who were on the Berkeley campus, UC Berkeley campus, and they were asking people to go to Bible study. So that was the path. That's that was probably the major event. I did go to Billy Graham crusade that summer with my girlfriend. Before I graduated from high school, she her father was a Lutheran minister who was out. He got in trouble for alcoholism, and he was working as a park attend, parking cars in Oakland, and her family was kind of messed up. And we did go to a Billy Graham crusade and. Around that summer, some people from that First Baptist Church there in Richmond invited me to their church, and I did become a Christian, a member of that church, and was baptized there around 1975. I think that was no 1970. <laughs> 75 is when I became I. Um, I was at the Richmond Rescue Mission in 1975. I was 23. And I suppose I was baptized around 1970 or 1971 in the First Baptist Church of Richmond, California. And I got involved in the youth group there. But I was always older than the people. So I was kind of like, and I was always I had long hair and I was kind of an old beatnik kind of type. So that's the first question, and so you can see why I can't get to the second question. But I wanted to just ramble here about reading this. I'll probably do the, the other prompts in a future video. Uh, where did you get your first books from, from to feed your new passion? Or uh, was it a library? I mentioned Richmond, the Richmond Public Library. Uh, when I I went to seminary, the uh, like I mentioned, I went I go to the libraries there in Berkeley, California, the seminary libraries, and uh, I didn't have any guidance from anybody as far as reading, except for like I did mention Pink. I I got I start reading Pink's books, and he would quote the Puritans like John Owen and Thomas Goodwin and. I would look for those books at the seminary libraries, and so that's how I got into it. Um, I didn't have any money in those days. I did buy a few books, which I thought I'd show in this video, but I didn't want to drag them out of the lower level. But so yeah, 
So I'm not going to go over the rest of the questions because I want to spend more time answering these prompts, but I just thought I'd stop by and hope you're having a good Sunday. This is the 19th of April. This is in the evening. Like I said, I've been reading Temptation by Jonas Stackley. And this morning I read The Wonderful Works of God by Herman Bavick. Uh, Instruction in Christian Religion According to Reformed Confession. And yeah, so I just, this is all spontaneous. <laughs> So I hope you're having a you had a good day and I'll download this video and until next time bye